Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel ML for Analytics. Today we will be covering one of the most important concepts uh, in case of uh, data modeling and in case of Power BI, that is relationships in Power BI, relationships in data modeling. And we will be covering various concepts like cardinality, cross filter direction, etc. in this video. The database that we will be using in this video is Contoso, which is uh, open for uh, users by all. And even you will be able to uh, download and uh, make a SQL Server instance uh, for that database. Uh, I'll provide the link for that in the description box. So please do check it out and let's get started. So we will be actually referring to two tables from uh, this database in our case over here that one of them is actually a dimension table which is a product, the details of various products actually and the other one is actually the fact table which is sales table and uh, let's, let's now go to model view and so this is how the model view looks over here for these two tables as you can see uh, that uh, it's kind of uh, two windows are shown over here one for dim product other for fact sales and the fields for each of these tables are shown over here in front of you and then over here you can see uh, this line with an arrow so the arrow signifies the direction uh, of uh, the filtering direction actually the direction towards which the filter flows filtering flows and uh, this one over here it states that uh, dim product is actually on the one side of the relationship uh, please listen carefully uh, dim product is on the one side of this relationship and the star over here signifies that fact sales is on the many sides of this relationship. Uh, if I click, uh, if I double click on this uh, arrow, then I will, uh, I will be shown a window, and uh, I can see that uh, the relationship exists between the product key columns of both these two tables cardinality is actually many to one cardinality there are mainly four types of cardinality many to one one to one one to many and many to many so all these uh, cardinalities we will be covering uh, in uh, in our videos and um, the cross filter direction over here is it's shown as single and as you would be expecting, uh, the filtering generally flows from uh, from your uh, one side to the many side. So the one side of uh, the relationship will be able to filter the many side uh, of the relationship. So in our case, the fields that are there in product table will be able to filter the fields that are given in sales table but but since the direction is single the, the same does not apply for uh, for sales to product filtering we will be uh, watching how so for now let's go to our report view and let's pull uh, different columns from these two tables we will be pulling brand name from product table and the next that we will be doing is pulling a sales amount from fact table so here is our sales amount and we will be pulling the same from our sales table actually and then uh, as you can see over here, I'm shown a table. I'll, uh, I'll increase its size so that you will be able to see it clearly. 
from temp uh, product table we will be pulling brand name again over here and we shall that we will be choosing for uh, this column brand name it will be a uh, slicer visual and just a sec the other thing that we will be doing for this is we will be setting selection control we will be switching show select all property and as you can see now i am able to select all of these uh, brand names selecting all of them will obviously uh, give me this view as in all of the brand names are listed over here along with the summation uh, cumulative sum or uh, not cumulative the individual sum of sales amount for each of them i can filter uh, brand names i can select the brand names that i want and as you can see uh, the same is being uh, reflected in my table also so in this case uh, the column brand name which is there in product table is able to uh, filter this table also is able to filter the sales amount from our uh, fact sales table also and one thing uh, is is shown over here that because uh, the filter filtering direction was from product table to sales amount table that is why i am able to filter uh, using brand name column and that filtering is being reflected over here now let's see uh, if i do uh, things the other way then what happens so and i'll add one more page and what i'll do is i'll actually uh, choose a product key from sales table i'll use the slicer visual for product key and i'll reduce its size and after this what i'll do is i'll go to product table and from product table i'll choose brand name i'll drag and drop brand name over here and what i'll then do is now i can check this remember this product key or which is shown over here it has been taken from sales table now and if i change its values as you can see the values which are given in brand name they also get changed if i go on changing the values of product key then uh, as in decreasing uh, the the uh, range of product keys then the brand names they also keep on decreasing if i go on increasing this range then i can see that the number of brand names they also increase and uh, now uh, even i i can do uh, the other thing uh, also i can bring sales amount from here and bringing the uh, bringing sales amount in the values field it uh, brings this table in front of me and now if i change the product key filter the same is being reflected in this case so after uh, after doing this as in after changing the cross filter direction to both now i can see that i was able to filter both of these tables i was able to filter sales table by means of product table by means of fees which are present in product table i was able to filter product table by means of sales fields, uh, by means of fields which are available in sales table uh, though uh, this now now comes the main point though this thing may sound really nice to you uh, as in using uh, cross filter direction equal to both though it's it does add some sort of uh, as in flexibility to, for us but using cross filter direction as both is generally discouraged in data modeling world why 
because it actually results in performance issues. Uh, they, uh, if the tables are large, then what actually this cross filtering direction is doing is it's actually making both these two tables equivalent to just one table. And if we, uh, if we actually go on uh, making this cross filtering direction as both, then this actually does lead to performance issue. This does slow down the model. Uh, so we will be talking about these performance issues very soon that will be an advanced topic and in order to gain familiarity with that topic we need to get some knowledge regarding few basic concepts first and after that we will be going forward in the into the world of optimization so guys um, this uh, was my video, this was my brief description about relationship in Power BI. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, then please like, share, subscribe to this channel and stay tuned. Thank you.